Hi students, um, back to recommend another app for you to use on your device um, for practicing English. The app that I want to look at today is really great for both listening practice and for reading practice. And this app is called VOA News. VOA stands for Voice of America. And this is a website that you can use, um, but it's also an app that's available on both your Android and your iPhone or your Apple device. Um, so I already have this installed on my, comp on my phone, but I'm gonna jump into my App Store, um, into my Play Store, just to show you what it looks like on the Play Store. When I come into Google Play, I will search for V-O-A. Again, that stands for Voice of America. And actually, there's a few different ones. I have not used this VOA Learning English, but tonight when I'm home, I'm going to download it and try it out. And maybe that will be my next app recommendation for you. But what I'm talking about is this app called uh, VOA News. VOA News. Uh, the reason that I really like this app is because it is uh, current, up-to-date news articles, things that are happening today in our home countries, across the world, in the United States that we might be interested to know more about. Um, it is written in English, but there are translations to about 44 different languages. They say on the website that they have 44 different languages. However, as always, you should be practicing in English, but you could jump over into your home language or listen to a video and put your home language across the bottom. Um, I'm gonna click open because I've already got the app installed on my phone. On your phone, you might see the install button here. The very first time when I open this app, it's going to ask me to choose a language. I've already opened it once and chosen the language of English. You should do the same when you open your app. Now, they do also have live radio, but I don't wanna to listen to them. So you see over here on the left side, there's all these X's. I can close these bars to get rid of them just so that it gives me a nicer screen to use while I'm browsing through the app. Um, I see top stories right away that I'm interested in. Um, Trump talking about the North Korea missile test together with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan. Um, I can see this image here, which means there's a video connected to that. Um, so maybe I'll click into that article. Right away, I see my language um, is at a nice middle, high intermediate, low advanced level of English. I truly believe that you can read most of the articles without having to look up, look up, look up definitions. Um, I think, I think that this world button here is going to let me change my language. Let me click on it and see. Oh no, it takes me to the website that has the news article. Okay, so the world button here gives me the internet. The video button here, of course, is going to pop open the video and it's going to be really kind of funky on my phone because it's going to force me to switch the, um, the layout of my phone. So just ignore the fact that I'm all squishy now. It's going to start to play my video. I'm going to stop it though and go back out of it. Just a short three minute video about something that I might be interested in. Um, I can, let me scroll down to the bottom here. I can um, share the article here with this button. We see this button or this image on lots of different websites like Facebook, um, different news article websites. That button means share. So when I click, it's going to give me some options of where to share. I can um, copy the article website. I don't know why it wants me to share the article to my CVS app. That's kind of crazy bananas. Um, I clicked on more there. Sorry, let me do it one more time. I'm going to click on the more dot dot dot. I could share the article to Facebook. I could share it to Gmail. I could send it through Messenger. Um, different ways that I could share the article. I can also star it, which would save it then on my phone. Do I want to download the files? I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to. But you could download the videos to watch. You see when I go back to my main screen, these bars are back across the top. I'm just clicking the X's to get rid of them again. Um, you see where it says multimedia. That means that there's videos attached that I could listen to and read along. 
Um, again, I see video. <laughs> Why Americans obsess about their grass. This might be an interesting article to read through. Again, really nice level of English. Not too difficult, but not too easy. Um, new vocabulary, but enough vocabulary that I understand that it wouldn't be an impossible reading practice. I can, by clicking on these three bars in the upper left-hand corner, I can get the settings. That's what those three bars usually mean on an app. They usually mean settings. Um, I can search for categories. I want to read articles about um, East Asia. Albino panda in China, North Korea, US Japan. Um, ta -da 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 -da. I decide, nope, I don't want to listen. I don't want to read about East Asia. I want to read about Africa. An article about Zimbabwe, Sudan, Somali, um, Malawi's. Oh, the president of Malawi being reelected, Kenya, Ghana. I can find some really nice articles about things that I'm actually interested to learn more about. So again, this app is called VOA, which stands for Voice of America. Um, they do have a website that you could also utilize if you are not using a device. Again, always with media files, with videos, be careful to make sure that you are using um, Wi-Fi so that you are not using your data to stream videos. This one does not have an option. Oh no, it did have an option to download. When I clicked in, it asked if I wanted to download the multimedia file, if you remember that from a few minutes ago. Um, just a really nice news app that is written at a step or two steps lower in English difficulty. CNN is wonderful, BBC is wonderful, but the English is written for English speakers who have a little bit higher vocabulary simply from having more exposure to vocabulary throughout their lives. Um, let me jump over here to show you in the iTunes store. You'll see it as VOA, the exact same, um, the exact same that you see it in the Android store, on the Google store. So another great app that you can use, VOA News. And I'll check out that VOA Learning English app this afternoon, and I'll give you some feedback if I think that's a great one to download or not. All right, students, talk to you later. Ooh, as always, let me know in the comments if there's another type of app that you're looking for. So far, we've done reviews on listening apps, on reading apps, and on ah, dictionaries. So let me know in the comments if there's another app that you're searching for, another thing that you want to do with your mobile device. And then we'll talk to you later. Bye.